passion, inspiration, determination. Are you ready to jump into a new business idea? Are you ready to jump into a better life? Welcome to our program. Jump into it. Our guests are accomplished women entrepreneurs sharing their personal journey and what it took for them to be successful. Uncover solutions to your hardest problems and learn firsthand how to aspire to your dreams and goals. Join me, Gabrielle Hellman, entrepreneur, author, marketer who has helped hundreds of businesses succeed, along with my co host, Anita Booth, accomplished marketing executive, a two time author, and spiritual activist. Thank you for joining Jump Into It, a live show and podcast helping entrepreneurial women jump into a better life. I'm your host, Gabriella Hillman, a entrepreneur, marketer, and author. I've helped over hundreds of businesses establish themselves and grow successfully. And along with me is my co-host, Anita Booth, a senior marketer, a two-time author, and spiritual activist. And we have with us a very special guest to talk about a very exciting topic that is making e-commerce explode. And it's called live stream selling. This is a multi-billion dollar industry selling millions of products globally. And what it is, it enables you to showcase your products and generate sales to an online audience real time. So that can scale on a huge level for e-commerce businesses. Where we formerly had known it as infomercials and the shopping channel on TV, now we've got social media, we've got digital marketing platforms. So it is just exploding. And to talk about this huge phenomena and how businesses can really capitalize on this opportunity is our special guest, Don Chabay. So John Dawn is a former host of the Shopping Channel for seven years. She is an award-winning broadcaster, and she's going to share with us her unique strategies and methodology for live selling. Nita, before we jump into it, what are your thoughts about live stream selling? Thank you, Gabriel, and and welcome to uh, all that are joining uh, us live tonight. Uh, and I'm so excited to bring Dawn on soon. So, but uh, just as a marketer and, and uh, somebody who has uh, um, been around for a little bit, I think about uh, live stream selling and I think about the e-commerce uh, era. And uh, quite frankly, if you're in e-commerce, you should be jumping on the bandwagon because this is an opportunity where you can put your products in front of a very large audience. And it's a really interesting way to capture engagement because you have them live uh, and that uh, starts creating that relationship right away. Uh, where we started with live stream selling uh, is back in the early 80s with the, uh, with the shopping channel. And, and I'm sure Don will uh, give us little insights there. Uh, and that was, you know, 24 hour live stream television. And those days, it was probably a lot more expensive uh, to get on TV and, and get that airtime than uh, than you once uh, than you will now. And so certainly now what's happening is with all the uh, live um, with all the channels available platforms, Facebook live. Amazon Live, if you were to just go there today, Amazon has live stream selling happening all day long uh, and and they're the perfect uh, platform to do that. So I am so excited to hear what Dawn has to say and uh, we will start off with bringing her in, Gabriella. Yeah. So John, so Dawn, let me introduce, how <laughs> Let me properly introduce you. So you are the former host of the Shopping Channel for seven years, award-winning broadcaster, the founder of the Live Selling School, and really a subject matter es- expert on live stream selling. So you are the, the, the person that we want to go to to learn more about these strategies, about these mythologies. And, the, and, and you have, I understand, a unique method that uh, is all part of what you're presenting and, and uh, 
that you can tell some, maybe you can tell a little bit of your secret sauce to our audience. Of course. I mean, gosh, I mean, I want to be as transparent as I can. And thank you so much for the great intro, ladies. Anita, yeah. you are bang on uh, when you talk about sort of the origins of live stream shopping being, you know, channels like the shopping channel, which I think is celebrating 36 or 37 years this year. Yeah. And the fun fact is, is way back in the day, and there'll be, you know, the likes of Susan Yell, who I believe she was, uh, I think she was one of the longest standing uh, TV home shopping hosts. It remembers when it used to be still motion. So you had like, like a picture, right? And, you know, it was voiceovers. And and then, of course, you know, pretty young in Canada because you also had the United States and elsewhere. So up to 50 years is now what you're looking at for TV home shopping. But yes, live stream shopping, it's really an exciting time. And, and what a great way for anybody that's out there to really evolve their already existing potential sales skills. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yes. And, uh, and, you know, there are so many ways, as Anita said, there's so many ways that people are looking to find the unique opportunity for selling their product that's going to differentiate them from the competition. So it's not just features and benefits, but it's also the channel and how you can, you know, potentially reach that your online audience. Are there any success stories that you could share with us? Well, it's, it's funny because when I was thinking about, you know, what could I share with you? I mean, certainly uh, in TV home shopping, there are many, many successes. But if we want to kind of go modern day and really, you know, there's different levels of how you can live stream. And Anita, you tapped onto it a little bit. I mean, you can do things like even Facebook Live and Instagram Live where, yes, you don't have the same measurables and analytics as you do as something like a, a live stream shopping platform like LiveScale, Buy With, Bamboos or Vimy. Uh, stage 10 right in Toronto where where you are um, but you can also sort of find that middle ground as well something like an Amazon live so there are many ways to do kind of the live selling which is what I teach but I was thinking about uh, one that might appeal to everyone that's watching and maybe listening right now going what are those success stories so Beekman 1802 they actually I believe just sold their company for some billions and billions and billions of dollars. But right. they actually started in the 80s um, in the world of TV home shopping. And it was Martha Stewart who suggested to, uh, you know, her wellness editor for her magazine and her company to, you know, start um, a, a business based out of this goat farm that they were living on. And so Beekman 1802 was born and huge success in TV home shopping, even though they were super successful in TV home shopping, and still are. They just did a partnership with Toll House Cookies with this cookies and milk kind of scented body cream. They still decided to leap forward and jump into the future of live stream with live scale and in their first 60 minute show. So keep in mind, they already make lots of money doing TV home shopping, but in yeah. their first 60 minute show on live scale, which is again out of Montreal, a TV home or it's a live stream shopping platform, they did four times their usual e commerce. So when we talk, ladies and everyone listening right now about what that value of live stream is, I mean, you can have upwards of 60% more conversion over traditional e-commerce. Um, Let's think about uh, that, right? Because what yes, we're doing is we're yes. connecting in a totally different way mm -hmm. where people actually get to have that authentic voice representing mm -hmm. their products and addressing any concerns for the shoppers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And now are there certain products that really sell well in live stream versus other yeah. products? Absolutely. So um, according to, I think it was uh, McKinsey and Company. So they're, you know, they, they're this big research company and they do all these white papers and they, all this other stuff. So they, they yeah. figured out the, uh, by the country, what does the best. And I mean, in, in somewhere oh. like China, where live stream shopping originated, things like groceries, do the best right and then it kind of filters down from there but let's go closer to home us we're looking at clothing so fashion skin care mm -hmm. body care right same kind of idea with uh with europe and talking about sort of the number of percentage of e-commerce shoppers that buy on live stream the key for anyone listening right now you can sell anything on live stream right anything you have in e-commerce you could do on live stream you can even do a book right? You can, if you're an author, you yeah. can do live stream, do a book club and sell your books. Um, but the ones that do the best are things that are demonstratable, right? That, that really give that shopper who traditionally buys on e-commerce a chance to, through 
a very skilled, talented, specialized live stream shopping host gets to experience through the screen. So how soft is that sweater, right? How, how does that product taste? How does that hot chocolate taste? Well, you can't just say it tastes chocolatey, right? You can't just say the sweater is soft. It's got to be more dynamic than that because those are very subjective things, right? Soft to me is different than what it might be to you, Gabrielle, and what it might be to you, Anita, and everyone else listening and watching right now. So you really have to use live selling language that is incredibly descriptive and go down layers deeper than you ever did before, not only in how you describe, how you demonstrate, but also in how you, um, I'm going to say even anticipate what the motivations of the customers right. are, because there are motivators yeah. to buying. For sure, for sure. And it's interesting when you're saying clothing, skincare, body care, these are all women's products predominantly. And I think, you know, 80% of shoppers in this, of the retail level, retail level are women. Is this the same thing with uh, live stream shopping? Is that we're really talking to mostly women? Well, I hate to generalize like that and genderize by by all accounts, but you know, in TV home shopping, 100% the majority women, and there was always sort of a uh, a general range of who the who the audience, and and that could be different than a target audience. It's who is actually watching, and we've seen you know in TV home shopping, of course, the audience older, right? Because okay. Gen Z, I mean, is consuming more online and they are consuming through influencers and through social media. And so then you have the areas in between. Um, I think we're seeing more families, men, teens, I mean, but most likely it's probably still majority women. Unfortunately, I don't have the proof of that and the actual studies on that, but I, I wouldn't think you're too far off, Gabrielle, but I think it would be a mistake to discount, um, you know, uh, providing products and access to products on live stream to the guys because they shop too. And when you market and promote your live stream shopping show, and it could be a full show or it could be a mini event, it could be a product launch, make sure you give the guys a shout out. Make sure you give something the guys want to watch because the ease of live stream shopping is a point and click. And anybody can do that, right? Yeah, it used yeah. to be the women did all the shopping because they had the time to go to the mall, right? right? right. Not that they had the time. I shouldn't say that, but the yeah. guys expected them to do all the shopping. Okay. Well, we. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, well, you know, maybe they're yeah. <laughs> back in the day. Well, I'm well, talking we won't back get too in the far day. into that one. We won't get too far. In, uh, um, I know we've got a number of other questions. I think the only one other question I, I wanted to go before we move on is. Uh, is there a time frame like of the, the for presenting and selling your product? Like, is there a magic? Is it 15 minutes, 20 minutes? Like, if you don't sell it by a certain time, then, you know, you're just not. Like, a, Is there anything well, around there? Or how long does it take for someone to go, yeah, I want to buy this. This is it. Like, you know, how long is it? How long is that persuasion sequence? <laughs> Well, and, and I mean, it depends, right? And it also depends on how good the host is. And it depends on how researched and how uh, how much information they're able to provide to help convert that customer. But there yeah. is a secret sauce. There is a general formula, 100%. Okay. Um, and I and I go to all the, the, you know, a lot of it in with my method. But if I just go with home shopping, in general, yeah. we would do on any given product, three to four minutes. That's okay. Um, now much. that's very quick. It's not very much. Yeah. And so an average live stream shopping show, and that's whether you do it on a platform or if you're doing Instagram live or Facebook live, that magic number is right around that, you know, 20 minutes max. Think about yeah. how much your attention span is, right? right. If you don't want a certain product. Do you really want to have to wait 20 minutes to get to the next one? And that's mm -hmm. also where the strategies come in with the host in giving people a heads up of what's to come so that they don't leave the feed. Because the longer someone stays on your feed, whether it's a paid platform or a free platform or an Amazon Live or a call like we're doing right now, you mm -hmm. want to give people something to look forward to. So my recommendation is go three minutes if it's a bundle. So let's say you're doing... Um, a bundle where it's got several products in there. So let's use skincare or maybe it's hair accessories or jewelry. Maybe it's a, a combo pack of um, a bracelet and a necklace and an earring. So you're doing a whole suite. You might want to go to six to seven minutes, right? But it, it's important to have sort of a strategy and not to let go of that segment too early um, for anyone watching, because it does take people time to sort of, again, go through the layers of why my customer motivations. Um, some people need proof, 
right? Some people need yeah. to be convinced with proof. And then there's also that call to action. And in the variety, I think there's seven or eight styles of calls to action. So it's oh, really, you know, giving everyone that chance. Yeah. Yeah. I keep asking the order in different ways. It's going to eventually resonate with them. Oh, that's very clever. Yeah. Yeah. Like any, like any professional salesperson, get to the close, get to the close. Fantastic. So, so Nita, you have a question. I do. I do. Um, you've had such a successful career, obviously being the host of the shopping channel and after several years, you made a, a very courageous move. You, did, you, you transitioned from what I say, the corporate world. And uh, I certainly know that feeling about being somewhere for a long time in, in a corporate environment and then having to make a choice to to move on and to move on maybe to, you know, another role. Or in, in your case, you decided that you wanted to start focusing on your own uh, school and your own courses and, and brand. Uh, and I would love if you could share, you know, there's probably so many women who are afraid uh, to, to make that, to make a move like that. You, you get, you, you get anchored into a role and you have all these great ideas, but you know, sometimes fear takes over and we would certainly love to hear how that transition was for you. What made you decide, you know, it was time for you to go and, and, and talk to us a little bit about that journey. Well, I've always had this entrepreneurial spirit and I don't know if it's when I started the Slurpee Queens uh, singing group in my backyard where mom was making the lemonade. I don't know if it started there, um, but even yeah. during my, um, you know, my main broadcast career, because I've been in TV now for, I think we're coming on to 23 or 24 years and, and for a good portion of it, it was morning television. So back at Edmonton, Vancouver, Toronto, um, I actually had been doing media training and I still do actually for chefs and sommeliers and you know, book authors and fitness professionals. I mean, really anyone that wanted camera confidence and how to get their key messages out. And in particular, being able to do it on camera, on television, or certainly on radio. So I've always been doing that. And I've always had that as part of a business that that I that I started with my husband, which sort of had this idea of, of helping people become better um, on camera and in media. But when I we moved to Ontario. So I'll go, I'll, I'll kind of backtrack. We moved to Edmonton or we were in Edmonton is where I was born. We moved to Vancouver. My husband got a job in Vancouver um, in 2004, lived here for 13 years. Fast forward to about seven years ago where hubby got a job in Ontario. So I was lucky and very fortunate that I was able to, to go to Rogers and, and transition from traditional broadcast at city TV to the shopping channel um, and very happy there. So without question, uh, one of my favorite jobs in the world because I took what what I did as a, as a broadcaster, which was still very much communicating. And when you think back, it's still sales because everyone is selling something, people, places, things, ideas, concepts, right. events, right? You, where are you gonna spend your charity money? That's sales. Yeah. Uh, and then to actually have measurables. So, um, you know, a year and a half ago, my husband got a job back in Vancouver. So. He, he actually, we accepted the job. He accepted the job back in Vancouver and we moved back. But in that time, I commuted for the last year um, back and forth to, to Toronto. So for 10 days at a time and was very happy doing that. But in that time, I started to really read about live stream shopping. The shopping channel had done a bit of live stream shopping, even different from their traditional broadcast. They were using live scale at the time. Um, and then we kind of went there to eventually like something like a Facebook live, but I started oh. to really think about what the future was. And so to your, to your question, you know, cause you know, in TV, I get paid to talk and we do dollars by minute, a dollar per minute. I, I am, I'm not short of words ever, but I always think it's good to understand the backstory. Um, so I just started always started thinking like, I think I have to look at my future and same as yeah. when I did my media training. It's like, what am I going to do? What yeah. do I want to do? Mm -hmm. And I started to get very excited about the future of retail, which is exactly what live stream shopping is and video commerce and live commerce and social selling. And I started to think, gosh, how can I marry what I do from an on-camera training perspective to what I do as a on-camera salesperson to what I do as a media trainer and encompass all of that to help cultivate the next wave of live selling talent and to help bridge that gap for so many businesses who are still sort of trapped in that, that solely e-commerce or just solely yeah. brick and mortar and not thinking about how they too are going to progress forward. 
Wow. You're you're a pioneer in you're you're helping with the evolution of how we sell. And you know, and and I think you know, you're piggybacking off on how we're building relationships too, right? So, you know, it's not just person to person. It, it everything is on a on the digital landscape of of how we are building relationships, how we are selling, how we are you know, growing professionally and personally. So that that's pretty powerful. And that, that's pretty cool how you took all those little pieces of yourself and, uh, and, and said, look at this, is, this is part of my vision. Yeah, and meeting people where they are. So Gabrielle, when you talk yeah. about, you know, kind of embracing the digital and both of you, of course, in, in your businesses and with your backgrounds, you completely yeah. understand the importance of digital marketing and, and influencer marketing is changing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So right. for me, it's A, meeting people where they are, where the consumer is, having that trusted advocate and authentic host and where, again, the newest generation are, are really trusting those influencers and shopping on social things like TikTok, which, you know, I'm still not 100% sure I understand the whole TikTok movement, but, it, you know, it's it, they've got the eyes and they've got the fingers on the pulse and literally on the keyboard ready to add to cart. But even influencer marketing is changing, right? So it used to be that we would call influencers like key opinion leaders, right? Along with others that influence mm -hmm. behavior. Uh, now there is this sort of bit of a, a dipping a toe into the idea of ESOLs, right? So E, selling opinion leaders, because when you have so many influencers and everyone's taking a selfie or going, hey, buy this pen, it's yeah. like, why, right? Because if, if, if the influence truly mattered, if you had a person that has 300,000 followers, and if you think that's the most important person to get host your live stream shopping event, my first thing is, is okay, how many of those 300 followers, if you said tomorrow, give me a dollar, would actually give you a dollar? Right, right. Probably right. not many of them, because if they right. were that influencer would be more than happy to take the day off. Right. So the real influence for me, especially when it comes to where brands are spending their money for their marketing, mm -hmm. who other than if all you want is awareness, and that's fine, too. But if you want customer conversion, who can actually convert the customer? Who can actually uh, appeal to the customer, but also, you know, create that trusted relationship? Because ultimately, no one's trying to sell anybody something they're not going to want. Mm -hmm. As mm -hmm. a shopping host, as a live stream shopping host, as an influencer who hopes to influence purchasers for brands who hire me, I ultimately want to be able to answer any questions that helps a shopper on their own make a great decision for them because not every product is for everybody and a mm -hmm. great shopping host will be prepared to give up a sale to preserve the trust. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Dawn, great. Um, I, I wanted to just jump in uh, and uh, hear a little bit more about your school because you're obviously doing something to help uh, others, you know, jump into this kind of channel. And can you talk a little bit about what the modules are and what they might learn? Absolutely. So I, uh, I created this method. It's called the HSH method of live selling. And it's if, if you if we dissect what that acronym is, home shopping host, the HSH method. So it's very much based on the strategies and the techniques that TV home shopping hosts and TV home shopping networks globally have used to be able to, again, bridge that gap between in person and online to help a shopper really see the feel. And that's a, a phrase I've coined to really identify what is involved with, with selling through a screen where a, a customer can't touch, taste, or try on a product. So the method that I've created is based on eight um, foundations, eight, uh, I should say an eight-step formula to live selling, but the foundations of live selling is it really centered around entertainment, authenticity, storytelling, and engagement, which is probably by the very nature um, what live stream shopping is being um, coined as, as far as you know how it's described and why it's so popular. Now, my HSH method, it really taps into probably what many people who work in sales know at the core, but then there's that element because remember sales face-to-face -face, where you can read body language, you can sort of hear the little whispers, you can see the concerns, someone can touch the product themselves, or you can kind of notice that maybe something doesn't fit as well and you can recommend something else. 
you know, selling through the screen is very specialized. So what I teach in my course, and the course, by the way, is six modules, 17 lessons, there's worksheets, there's action steps, um, ultimately ending up where you're able to flow your show or do a run of show for a live stream event if you're hosting That's yourself. Bad. Wow. Yeah. And so, you know, so it's, it's, again, it's, it's really kind of going step up. So in my opinion, live selling skills can be used even in person. So what, what I like to say is if, if someone owns a store, for instance, and they have a, an, an employee who works there that, that wants to maybe get some personal development, live selling skills, you do no wrong by teaching them that or getting them to learn how to do that, because not only can they then perhaps host a show for you as a brand, even for free on Facebook Live, right? Like it doesn't have to cost you anything to do live stream selling in the beginning, if you're not as concerned about those analytics that a shopping platform will give you. Um, but it also levels up the skills of your brand rep, of your salespeople. And for any influencers, my thought is, is again, go beyond the selfie right? It'll even help you describe in your copy on Instagram in a way, again, that can maybe reach customers a different way. Because Gabrielle, you mentioned it before too. People react in different ways to different motivations and they hear things differently. So you have to be able to speak the language in all different ways through a pinhole with 10 or a million people watching, but you got to be able to reach all of them as though they heard it right from your face to theirs in person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and, you know, when, when you're doing one to one selling, which is really the, you know, where it all started from, is that you get you get uh, hints that, hey, you know, uh, it's working or it's not working. You're, you're, you're getting the nods, you're getting the body language, you're getting right. So there, there's signals whether you're moving towards a close or you're not, where here you, it's one to many and you're not getting that the feedback you're just really is kind of a, a monologue of, uh, of what you're selling. So is, is there a way that you can perfect it without knowing getting that feedback or is there a way that, uh, you know, that you can know if you're going on the right, uh, if you're connecting with your audience or you're not connecting with your audience or you're losing them. Well, I mean, the ultimate measurable is whether someone buys, but in right. show, I hear, yeah. I hear what you're saying <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, in, <laughs> in show. I mean, it's about engagement and that's, you know, again, one of the four pillars of, of live selling, right? So entertainment, authenticity, storytelling, and engagement. And so that's one of the keys too. different than a traditional e-commerce is you have live interaction. Now, when I say live selling, keep in mind, you can do this on pre-recorded video, but the live part right? So the, the actionables of how you sell can still be done on video, of course. But when you go live, there is something special about that um, for anyone listening and watching, because you can actually, again, address those concerns, right? For someone that's kind of shaking their head going, oh, I don't know if that bought, you know, that top with my body type, I'm not sure, but I kind of look like Dawn, or I kind of look like Anita, or it might be the same size as Gabriel. I'm going to ask them what size they are and what their height is and what their, what size of bra they wear. And those are legit, legit questions. And I, we've gotten them on live TV yeah, home shopping sure. because it's, it's the way that, because they can't try on the product themselves. Right. And so, so, so the way that you are hitting the right points to answer your question, Gabriel, is by listening to the consumer. Now, you know, live stream shopping, although has been around for a long time in, in China, um, it's still fairly new here. So everyone is still kind of trying to figure out what that secret sauce is. But where we are seeing the big uh, results is consistency, right? A lot of brands, what they do is they do one show and they go, oh, I did, oh they didn't work. It didn't resonate. Well, you know, I'd love to go to the gym and lose 30 pounds and, and have biceps after one workout too, right? But we have to work through the process. And it's only just like the strategies that you would do in your marketing businesses. You know, yes, you can offer best chance. And you do that by making sure you've got all the right ingredients for your recipe. And then hopefully the meal turns out great, right? right. But there's right. going to be someone that likes more salt or less salt and someone who doesn't like spicy. And, and so the next time you're with that group, you add a little more spice, you add a little more salt, right? Maybe you add a, a little bit more of a fashion show or a different hairstyle or whatever, but yeah. you only get good. And this is about anything. You only get good by doing it. And that's by camera confidence. If you've never yeah. been on camera before, you're not comfortable talking to yourself for 20 minutes because that's what you're doing, yeah. right? Possibly right. into the ether. You just have to do it and just 
get comfortable. And that's yeah. how you're going to yeah. just jump game. into it. Yes. A little, yes. A little test and learn, <laughs> a little test and learn to your point, right? You, get, you know, I find that when you do uh, campaigns and again, to your point, live selling, whatever, whatever channel or, or initiative you put out there, it's one of those uh, things that you have to try three, four, five, six, maybe eight, nine, 10 times before you have uh, been given some sort of uh, uh, indication that you're, you're moving forward. And so not, not to give up, which is, uh, I think exactly the point you're trying to make. Don't, don't try it once and be like, Oh, I can't do it. It's, you know, yeah. go at it, keep going. Well, and that's what I would say too, although there are, so again, when I kind of go through the tiers of the technology that's available, so we can, you know, you can go with live stream shopping platforms and hundred percent, those are more of an investment hundred percent though you can see some incredible measurables. I mean, the likes of Target, um, Nordstrom Live, right? These these are big businesses. But then, you know, there was a book author who did a book launch with Stage 10. Now, did they get the measurables in sales? Who's, I, I don't know that. I don't work there. I'm not sure. What I would say is for anyone watching, and in particular, I'm speaking about this um, upcoming in Fredericton, actually, uh, with the Chamber of Com Commerce on using your existing uh, tools and and personnel, right? To really, other than their time, which, you know, give them a day off or pay them some overtime or whatever, it's virtually free, right? And that's how you can figure out. So to your point, Gabriel, too, is, okay, maybe that's where we figure out. And then when we hit, hit all those marks and we start to see some traction with that, then maybe we're willing to invest in a live stream shopping platform because right. now yeah. we've worked yeah. it all out. And so, yeah. th and that's really what my goal is, is with my, with my um, HSH uh, method live selling course, I've got free eBooks and strategy calls I offer as well as videos. I've produced a four part video series that I offer for free at livesellingschool.com. But the purpose of that is to just get people into the mindset because Anita, you know this, Gabrielle, you know this, that this is the future. And in your industry, you're hearing about it, right? Brands are sort of just hearing about it and just starting to understand about it. Influencers going, ah, should I do it? And my right. thing is, is why wouldn't you want to do it now and get all the bugs worked out? Mm -hmm. So that when it becomes yeah. the yeah. way that influencer marketing has, the way the advertising budgets are being spent, maybe through these platforms and with live stream shopping or hiring a host, right? Because mm -hmm. you want to pay, if you're going to get a professional, you want to have a professional and that could be your own mm -hmm. employee too. Um, then you want to be ready because everyone else then is just trying to catch up. So jump into it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so if somebody wants to say, hey, you know what? I have a product. I want to try this live stream selling, um, but I don't want to do it myself. I want to be able to, you know, is there a pool of talent that I can go to that that can that can do this for me that can, you know, increase my success rate, get my conversions? <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, I, we've heard this before. And this is, you know, this is pretty well known, even when you hire like an MC, right? Nothing more expensive than free. Everybody wants a deal. However, mm -hmm. yeah. um, don't don't discount the ability to train your existing brand representatives if they okay. are if they've got personality, mm -hmm. they have a passion for the brand, I would start yeah. with training, yeah. Yeah. potentially training your own. Um, if you, especially if you're doing something like a Facebook live or an Instagram live, okay. if you are using a live stream shopping platform where you've invested, I don't know what it is per show, or it might be a monthly membership. I think when I was doing some, I mean, a lot of them have like a two week free trial period. So you want to get all your stuff worked out before you do that so that you can take advantage of the best deal possible. But, you know, you could be spending 500 bucks a month and that's, listen, if you're Nordstrom or whatever, that's a drop, that's nothing. Right. You might to give yourself the best chance want to hire a professional live stream shopping host. So is there a pool? Is there a roster? It's growing. We're mm -hmm. starting to see that if you even looked on, you know, for instance, I'm a, a professional live stream shopping host, right? A lot of people that I know are live stream shopping hosts. And even though they may even currently work in TV home shopping, many of them have the ability to also represent brands on live stream shopping. So that is a great place to start if you want sort of a plug and play model, right? Yeah. I'm a big advocate for teaching people, but a hundred percent, I get it. Sometimes you just want 
I want the plug and play. I want to know that my show is going to be flowed. I want to know that that person knows how to connect through the screen, how to demonstrate, how to speak the language. Um, And it is growing. So some of these uh, live stream shopping platforms, if you are using one of those, so like stage 10, live scale, bamboozer, buy with, there are many of them. Um, Anyone can reach out to me if you want a list. I can provide that for you as well. They will have a roster as well that they can put you in touch with. Someone like me, if someone was working with me, like I, I do that, I also teach people. So you can also have a scenario where you have, this could be a great option too, a dual hosted situation where maybe you've got a, a trained professional who sort of is at the helm, right? Sort of like what a TV home shopping host would be. And then you, as your business, maybe you're a designer of clothing. Maybe you are a, a makeup formulator or a makeup artist maybe you become the guest to focus on all of the things that you're going to demonstrate and then let the the trained person deal with the housekeeping of it. So there's, I mean, there's, there are many different ways that this could be formulated. Okay. Yeah. Now, now you would like launching it the back end, and I don't know if you have operations. If I have a product, I have, I get the platform, I get you talking about it. I get you selling it on the e-commerce and then there's the back end still, which is part of the e-commerce functionality, is packaging that product and delivering it to the person's house. Right. So I, you know, that that back end is where the, you know, that duplicates the e-commerce uh, business model. Yeah. And some of the, the shopping platforms, they actually work uh, in coordination with your e-commerce. In fact, there are some platforms and off the top of my head, I can't remember which one. There are many of them, but there was yeah. one that I was speaking to and the one sort of their point of difference, because, hey, listen, I have a point of difference. You two have a point of difference. The plat- Everyone's got a point of difference. And the brands that are selling have points of difference for their different uh, products. But there's one brand who uh, really prides themselves in the fact that they actually can also set up the e-commerce for you. So if you were a company that was traditionally just brick and mortar and really haven't gotten into that e-commerce side, which I know there are still some out there that haven't, they will actually do everything for you. There are some, there are some that are integrated with Shopify, Right. That's where stage 10 is. They're they're integrated with Shopify. Vimy is integra- integrated with uh, Shopify Plus. And so then you're okay. accessing okay. potentially during your live streams. their are yeah. tens of millions of, of okay. viewers. Right. But mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, as a company, if you've already got your e-commerce set up and if all you're doing is Facebook Live and Instagram Live, all you got to do is get someone to moderate. Right. Like we've got a moderator here as well to mm-hmm. throw a link up there. And uh-huh. go, okay, I want to know what glasses Dawn's wearing. Okay, well, I would tell you these are, you know, Theo. And I like those glasses, da, 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 da. by the way. Thank you. Well, they are Belgian made. No, I'm just, but, you know, <laughs> these are these are the kinds of things because product placement, yeah. I mean, live stream shopping is all product placement. So then what you do is you go, yeah. it, I would do the call to action. Hey, listen, we've only got, you know, a few of these left. And if you love, you know, if you've got like an oval shaped face, like this is perfect for you, but it's actually universally flattering. We've posted the link there. Grab it right now. We've only got five left. And then- you know, that would just run through your traditional e-commerce, right? But there are clickable links with these uh, shopping platforms that allow people to shop in show. But yeah, Yeah. you would do a drop, uh, a drop ship kind of a scenario, unless you're doing Amazon, because you talked about that, Anita, Amazon Live, which is amazing for anyone just wanting to dip a toe as a creator. Okay. They they, they want a chunk of your margin, but uh, so Anita, do you have any other questions? We're we're just coming up to the 745 time frame. Well, I do see that there are some, a couple of questions from uh, our audience here. So why don't I uh, read a couple uh, for for Dawn and, uh, and then we will look to wrap up. So uh, the one question here says, as someone who has successfully built a following in the live shopping space, what strategies or tips do you recommend for connecting with and growing an engaged audience? So, I mean, ultimately it's all authenticity, right? I mean, it's putting out content, right? So if we want to build our, and I just want to make sure I got, so we want to build and we want to connect. I just want to make sure I hit both of them. So, and to be honest, you know, Anita and Gabrielle, you could probably speak to this as much as anyone because you work in the business of helping building audiences as well. And, you know, well, whether it's a follower, an audience, a TV audience, a social media yeah. audience, a mail yeah. list, it's all kind of the same thing. I think ultimately news you can use, right? Providing information. No one wants to be sold to. I mean, ultimately, even salespeople, we like selling because we like the idea of putting products and and 
you know, items and services in people's hands that are going to improve their life and solve a problem. But, you know, and no one likes to be sold to. So, but the, what they do want to do is be given information, right? So if I'm going to learn how to uh, do this awesome steak, right, create a, or make a roast, for instance, right? I'm going to want the recipe. I'm going to want the tips and tricks from the chef. But then, of course, I'm also going to probably want that pan that they're making it in because that chef said this pan, I, I can just literally wipe it with a paper towel. Oh, and it still gives me, you know, an incredible sear mark the way it happens in a restaurant, right? So when you provide that content, your your list eventually builds. And then to connect with them, it's that authenticity, right? That vulnerability. It's the sharing of the stories, the commonalities, right? Like I struggle with finding you know, tops that fit me too, because I'm heavier on the top than on the bottom or a dress or this or whatever. And I think sharing those authentic stories is one of the best ways to connect and consistency. So consistency in your content and consistency in who you are, which again, taps into that vulnerability, right? So that those are kind of the high level yeah. answers. I, I know we got I like questions. Interesting. Interesting. You, so you one other question. Yeah, There's one other question here that maybe you can share your insights on, but how do you pick a channel? So you, you named a lot of different, you know, uh, platforms and, uh, you know, I we're newbies. What, what do we what do we do? Which one do we go to? So I would say, you know, unless you're willing to invest, you know, invest in a in a, a shopping platform. And if you are, there's a lot out there and. It, you just start making calls, right? Look at their websites, see if they sort of meet your requirements of the type of audience um, and the services that you want. Some offer clickable links that happen like on the side of the screen and show others, you know, direct link to someone's Instagram and Facebook. If you're just getting started, I would say, honestly, don't pay a lot of money to do a shopping platform right now. I know I'm going to get people that listen to this, that work for those platforms going, what are you doing? But honestly, I just want people to get the idea of what it takes yeah. to live sell and to connect through the screen. Do Facebook, do Instagram first. That's what I'm going to say, but, but get your host trained and it doesn't have to be a TV personality. It doesn't have to be me. It can be your employee, but make sure they understand what it takes to connect through the screen and properly strategize your show. It can look casual. It doesn't have to look like the shopping channel, but you need a strategy if you want to convert. And I would say start there. So start with your own social media. Don't spend any money on any kind of platform right now. Okay. Okay. Very good. Great, Great Very idea. Good. Like start slow and, and, and gain momentum with the learning. And, and your uh, confidence. And, and your confidence. And your confidence, right? Yes. Yes. That is that's awesome. So we've got just a few more minutes. Is there, are there any more questions, Anita? No, there's oh. not. Okay. That's fantastic. Well, thank you, Dawn. That was amazing. You are a wealth of information. And, you know, I'm excited. I'm going to try this. I, I'm not necessarily have e-commerce all, uh, you know, platform or products out there. But, uh, you know, what? It, it, when the opportunity arises, I think this is a great channel to, to, to build that. You're building your relationship with the people on a very more um, direct and uh, emotional, engaging, touching way than just pushing out a post or a video because you're it, 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 it's a it's a uh, a one to one relationship that 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 bond is going to be much stronger. And I think it needs to be in order to make a decision within four minutes. That, yes, I want to buy that. So, you know, so again, thank you so much. I wanted to say. And, uh, uh, you know, and yep. as before we go, up, we do have somebody else who just popped in and I, and I was going to ask this of Dom, but, uh, okay. All right. Um, by demand, <laughs> we, we okay. have a question as to if we want to get in touch with you, Dawn, yes. and we want to yes. take your school or take some of your courses, please share okay. with our audience what the, yes. they can do to reach you. So the easiest thing, go to live selling school.com. You can find links to everything on my social media, which is at Don Chube on Instagram and all of that. But if you want to learn about my course, if you want to download my free videos, and I'm going to say, start with that, right? Start with free videos, start with my ebook, start with a strategy call. I just did a strategy call, a 30 minute strategy call with a, uh, a fashion house out of Toronto yesterday. And, uh, and they're very excited about the potential and about the future of live selling, but you know, 
people don't know where to start and they don't know if it's for them. So I want to make sure that you qualify for that. I want to make sure that you have the opportunities. And so start with the free resources, just go to lifesellingschool.com. And that's the easiest way to find out. But of course, following me on social media at Don Chubay. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you Wonderful. so much. Well, thank you so much, Don. We appreciate you being on tonight. Thank Great. you so much, everybody. And thanks for tuning in and listening and uh, let's go live selling talent. Fantastic, fantastic. Jump into it. Jump into it. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Thank you so much. Yeah, so have a great. Um, so we'll, next week, we'll have another fabulous guest uh, whose journey is sure to inspire us. If you want to learn more, we uh, have a Facebook group, Jump Into It. We're also on YouTube, and uh, you can listen to our podcast on any of your favorite platforms. We are on. Uh, uh, I, I, Apple TV on Spotify, as well as iHeartRadio, just to name a few. And with the courage and knowledge to bring your ideas to life, be ready to jump into it. Thank you for listening, everyone. Get ready to jump into it. <laughs>